Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I actually filmed the video yesterday, but I couldn't upload it because for some reason my mic was really like... And yeah, it was unwatchable. So I'm gonna like repeat some of the things that I said yesterday, but also like I'm not unpotting a plant and then repotting it. So if you were desperate to watch me repot my... What did I repot? My philodendron lemon lime. I've done it, sorry. I am going to repot my Syngonium Ice Frost though because I did notice yesterday that it's really in desperate need of doing. So yeah, so first up, good news, my Peperomia Hope, this one, has got a bloom. I've seen a load of people on like Instagram and Facebook asking what these are and it is a Peperomia bloom. I've got, um, or I used to have before it died, a string of turtles and they are really cute when they bloom because all the little blue, this has just got the one. But all the blooms stick up like that and it looks like those um, Kawati. Google Kawati. They're a South African, no they're not. They're a South American mammal and they have their, their tail goes like that. It's very cute and if you know what they look like you'll know like it, they look exactly like this. So yeah, that's exciting. Uh, bad news, because there's always bad news with plants. I have decided that so my Calathea Sabrina got thrips last year and I treated her and treated her and treated her and she was doing okay but she kept giving the thrips to other people like she was okay to other plants not people. Um, so I chopped all the leaves off and she regrew like stunningly really really well really proud of her but then all of a sudden she's just crisped up. The only thing that's changed is oh wobbly. The only thing that's changed is she's moved up into my office and she just really doesn't like it in here. It's not that much. I'm really sorry, I'm so blown out, but it's the sun and there's nothing I can do about it. It's actually better than yesterday. Yesterday I just looked like a big white moon. So I'm gonna cut the leaves back. I'm not, I'm not gonna like throw her out or anything, but I don't really have high hopes for her this time just because this was really, really quick. She just decided to give up. So I don't know if there's like an issue. Check the roots and the roots are okay. So we're just gonna have to see really. I also potted up my Hoya Prinkolate just because it's really started to shoot out new growth. And I also noticed, I've never noticed this before, I don't know if all Hoya do it. When they grow, their leaves, it's really hard to show on camera, their leaves grow in pairs, like one on each side of the stem. You really can't see on this one because they've lost the leaf on each side, but like, you just have to trust me. So yeah, I've potted this up in Lekka. It was in water and Hoya take forever to root. The ones that I've rooted in the Aero Garden root far and away faster. Now, the speed at which plants do produce roots really, really, really varies. So I have a Rifidophora tetrasperma that took literally months to root. Other people can get roots in days. It really just depends on the various circumstances surrounding your house, your care, the plant. So yeah, but Hoya take ages. With this crinkolate, I noticed that it did nothing for months and months and months and months and months and then it just threw out new roots, like like so many new roots all the time, it was wild. And then all of a sudden she just really took, so after she threw out the roots, she started to produce new growth, and which was really exciting, but then all of a sudden algae was forming in the glass jar and it all just seemed to start going wrong. I changed the jar, but it didn't help, she was just done in water. So, so I've put her in more water. So she's gone into some lecker. And I'm just gonna see how she does in there. The roots are perfectly healthy. You can just see a couple at the top there. There. But I'm hoping that she does better with, yeah, in lecker than she did in water. Just a little bit more airflow. Uh, that's often the issue. If you don't change your water out really often, that tends to be the issue. I actually, uh, so we've had a problem with our fish tank. My boyfriend's had to medicate it quite heavily and that's, whilst it does help the fish, obviously because it's medication, it's quite stressful for them. So he increases the airflow and he's put a spare air pump on it. And since I put the spare air pump on it, or he put the spare air pump on it, my Thais constellation that's in there has thrown out an, another leaf. And that isn't unusual, except that she's actually started on two new growth points. So I didn't think we'd get any more leaves until she'd done with those but the increased airflow really does have a massive effect. I'm sorry you're wobbling, <laughs> but every time I laugh, nothing in this house is even, so every time I laugh, like, it wobbles. So I'm gonna repot this Syngonium. Now it looks really weird, because these leaves have 
fallen off. So they've just got old and died. And there is on it two other growth points. There's one here. And then there's another one up here somewhere there. But I don't think it will grow whilst it's growing, like it's throwing out new leaves up here. It seems to want to grow flat like that, like shingly, but it's not allowed. Like I don't have room. It just looks, it just looks so weird. And I do want to propagate it. Do I? No, I'm just going to repot it today. Check what the roots are doing. There are soil everywhere for fun. So I don't think I've ever, no, so I've never repotted this. It's got the same label that it came with. But there's roots coming out of the bottom. But as I've mentioned before, like roots coming out of the bottom, it's a good sign that your plant needs repotting, but it's not the only sign. So if you bottom water, which I tend to, the roots will come out of the bottom. Oh, bits of roots just falling off. Oh, messy. Okay, these aren't looking that good. No. I wouldn't say it was pot bound. Maybe a bit at the bottom. Ooh, what's that? Some weird coir thing at the bottom. I am going to, whilst I'm here, just check that there's no... Okay, the pot I've brought is the same size. I have a slightly bigger one. But we'll just see the roots first. I'll just tip you down a little bit. Right, so... I'm just going to really gently ease the roots away. So this root here looks quite healthy. It's white and there's a little white root on it. This one looks really woody and brown. So sometimes on the inside of the root ball, you will find... I'm not vacuumed yet today, so I'm just going to make mess freely. Uh, yeah, so you'll find like there might be a secondary pot or like a coir plug or something. I'm just going to check that's not the case. They're not like, they won't necessarily kill your plant, but they often don't help. I'm just interested, like it's not necessary to do this. In fact, like doing this to the roots is not the best. Especially when you're like me and you get halfway through and get really impatient and just want to stop. It's actually, it's also quite a heavy PT mix, which I'm not happy about. So, oh. Right. There's like massive chunks of un... This is just like un... You know when you get coir and it's pressed into a ball? This has not been properly unpressed. God, my words aren't happening. I only film one day a week and that's... I have to pick a day when my words working. And that was yesterday. And today, they're just not. So these roots are fine. They're not massively healthy, but they're fine. But I'm not particularly happy about the mix that it's in. I don't see why it shouldn't go back in the same pot though. Unless, let me see. Yeah, no, I'll put it in a different pot, but it's the same size, if that makes any sense. So this, so the old soil, you really should, what I should really recommend you do is throw it away. It can have bugs in it, it can be old, nutrientless. It's just safer to use fresh soil. However, I don't like wasting soil for the sake of looking after bugs. So I'm just gonna reuse it. I'm not saying you have to, but I'm just saying that I'm gonna. Right, so I've just recovered my phone from throwing it on the floor. Never mind. This is actually the same soil mix that I made like months ago. It's not been doing a lot of repotting. So I've just added a bit of that. Shake it around, make sure you've got no air pockets. This feels really air pockety. I'm going to put a bit of the old soil in. Seriously, whoever made this potting mix did not try very hard. It's just like lumps of coir. 
I've had to move my tray of water just to film this video, but once I've stopped filming, I'll just pop this in water to pot some water, uh, where the roots will again go down to the bottom of the pot and I'll have to do the same thing again, but it's just, it is annoying that bottom watering makes the roots come out of the bottom, but it's convenience for me. I'm not going to bother to um, top water all the time, especially not up here with carpet, it's just safer to bottom water. So today's video wasn't quite the video that I had envisioned because that was yesterday with the terrible sound but yeah just a little bit of plant care. Um, what I forgot to mention, so when I first talked about this peperomia hope, if you have a friend that wants to get into plants or you struggle looking after plants, god I'm in very strange colours today. You can't go far wrong with a peperomia hope. This thing is in terracotta and it grows well, it grows a lot, like, it has hella vines on it. Uh, this is leggy, like, it shouldn't look like this, but I quite like the way it looks. I also like the way when it grows, I was about to say it always grows three leaves at once, but it doesn't, there was four here. <laughs> it's got progressively leggier, so there's four, three, 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 two, 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 but yeah, no, I think it's really cool. Like, I water mine monthly if it's lucky it used to be on a west facing windowsill which still made it grow leggy so like i don't know what it wants to not be leggy but yeah if you're looking for something i mean they're not rare and they're not but they're a little bit different and they're a little bit cool and yeah and no, i just really like them and they're also i say this with trepidation but a little bit like peace loose they're somewhat pest resistant they'll still get them but they i'm assuming like peace lilies they're just not tasty <laughs> and pests will go on them, munch for a bit, and then just go and like harass your alocasia or something. I hope this was helpful. I'm really sorry about the light. Like it's not my fault. This is just what the sun's like. And I'm not, I refuse to close my curtains and put lights on for the sake of like, you hear if the plant's not my face. Oh, also, oh God. You know, those plants that you have that just never seem, you can just never like, you like them and they're fine, but they never seem to catch a break. Mine is my, this pothos enjoy i always let it dry until it is like crispy but it always overnight in water and it comes back and you'd never know like she's perky the reason that she's not she's looks like she's dwarfed in this pot is because the pot is simply too big for her there's a root in here well so yeah it's been really good weather here so i've had my plants outside um, I didn't acclimatise them properly, so they're burnt to crap, but, like, <laughs> this is why you need to acclimatise them. They're, they're fine for, like, a couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden their leaves are just like, no, it's too much, and they start to, like, blacken off. And that's happened with mine, but because I've got new growth coming in thick and fast, I'm really not that fussed. So, yeah, it's a case of you've got to make sacrifices. Um, but I think what I might do, it's looking thunderstormy, so I'm really tempted to just whack all my plants outside and let them get rained on. Uh, I was talking to my dad about this. There's something different about rainwater. I don't think it's the actual water. I think it's... So when you top water a plant, obviously you're not going to stand there and just drip water on it. You pour it and then piss off. I mean, even if you're like one of those diligent slow waters, because you should water slowly, otherwise it just you essentially just like force it through the soil. But however slow you go, it's not going to be the same as being rained on for like an hour. And so yeah, you need your, your plants need to have good drainage, but there's just something they, they look so much perkier. So I am considering putting them outside in the rain, but it would involve me lobbing all this lot downstairs. I could do the lift on the window, really, couldn't I? Or a balcony. Or living somewhere in a or living in like a warmer climate. Yeah, as I'm saying that, I might not quite bother to do that. Maybe I could like fix up some sort of rainwater system. Again, I just use tap water, but it's just the, I think it's just the, the gentleness and the length of time. I'm just waffling now, so I'm gonna say bye. Um, again, sorry for my weird face. It's so bright. Uh, and I'll see you next week, bye.